Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina. Check it, check it, check it, check it. I don't know anybody that was more excited about Game of Thrones premiering this week than me. No one, and that's on period. In light of the recent rehashing of this ever so popular television HBO series, Urban Decay came out with the Game of Thrones collection. I'm not gonna lie though, a lot of times whenever I see makeup brands collab with like movies and stuff like that, I'm just like, yeah, lame, no one cares. No one cares. Stay in your lane and go back to what you're good at. But to be honest with you, when I got this PR box and then I saw the product, I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. I might probably could move some things around on my schedule and make this work. Game of Thrones just happens to be one of my favorite TV shows. This makeup collection actually low key looks fire. Pun intended, mother of dragons. Do you see that? You see that? Got it, okay, that wasn't funny. So today's video is also done in partnership with Audible. So if you aren't exactly familiar with Audible yet, I will explain to you while I prime. It's basically an app that provides audiobooks, news, comedy, podcasts that you can listen to. Don't mind if I put on a little bit more. Audible pretty much has everything. Funny enough, out of all the services that I promote, ironically, this is a makeup channel. I would say you guys use Audible the most because I get the most feedback, I get the most tweets, and I get the most comments about how much you like it, you use it for textbooks and your school. So I keep working with them because they're not only convenient for me, but they're also convenient for you. And I quite enjoy the interactive part of like listening to a book versus reading it, which I ain't got the time for. As far as Holly, skin tune blur. If you're new to the service, you can get your first Audible book for free 99 plus two Audible originals for 30 days. All you gotta do is visit audible.com slash Jackie Ina or text Jackie Ina to 500-500. I actually quite like Trevor Noah. Oh, he's so cute and charming. Right now, I have Born a Crime on my queue. Stories from a South African childhood. You can access your books anytime, anywhere from your smartphone and they're not rentals, you keep them. Five ever. And the app is free for iPad, iPhone, Windows Phone, and Android. Once again, the link down below is going to be in the description if you wanna try Audible at audible.com slash J-A-C-K-I-E-A-I-N-A. -A -A. Or you can just text Jack out at a 500, 500. Shout out to everybody that lets me know that the products that I promote are actually helping them. Happy Audible. <laughs> That's weird. I just get really excited when things are helpful for you guys. So we are in prime condition. We're gonna just kind of quickly get through the base. No one cares. You're here for the mother of dragons. I think we both mutually agree. For my foundation, I'm gonna use Too Faced Born This Way. I can't burn, say I can't burn. Is that a song? The world only was Please only love you when they're playing. When they were coming, they were Go away. Oh, just eliminate all of my ugliness. One stroke at a time. I'm gonna take some Naked Skin to Contour from Urban Decay. A little bit, girl, cause she do be getting carried away. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my Pro Filter while that is being blended. As you know, she likes to let her concealers dry down for a little bit. This is shade 445. I'm using her to do some under eye correcting. And in typical Jackie Anna fashion, I have an event to go to today. Why am I always testing stuff on the days where I actually have to look cute and I have to be photographed? What the hell is wrong with me? I don't know what it is about blending my contour, but I feel like that's when I start realizing. I just start thinking about all of the projects I've never finished, all the people who never, who haven't texted me back yet. Can we also just talk about, probably gonna get hate for this. I just feel like the season premiere was, I could acknowledge the greatness that it is and still be disappointed, but I was disappointed. Because the final season is so short, you guys, like why didn't they give us any real tea or deaths in that first episode? They gave us the general recap, which they do for every season, but this isn't like every season, this is the last and final one. So I just feel like every episode should be unique. We learned nothing new. Reunion was cute. None of the ghetto hood cousins showed up. That's fine. We already knew all this info, so. I'm tired of the Game of Thrones committee experts being like, well, if you're a real fan, and you know they always do the recap episode of the first. We know, we know, we know. We know. We know. 
Okay, we know. And in honor of Miss Daenerys Stormborn herself, I'm gonna take a brow gel. You guys know I love these from ABH. This one's a little bit lighter and a little bit ashier than the color that I normally use. It's in the shade medium brown. I almost thought it said medieval brown. I'm getting a little bit too in character. This is medium brown. It's a little bit lighter than my natural brow color. So now we've got the collection. It has a Game of Thrones eyeshadow palette, which I'm gonna get to in a minute, four lipsticks, one, two, three, four eyeliner, two brushes, a cheek stain. What in the Westeros is going on? So this little thing is not important, but it's cool. So I'm showing it to you. Now when you open the drawer, what? It actually would have been cool if they gave us a cover on top of this so that this can be, you know, like you can travel with this and not necessarily the, the Iron Throne. Like I, I don't think I need to take the Iron Throne to Cabo, but it's cool. This is definitely, I don't think in my opinion, designed to be something that you can use everywhere, take everywhere, but I don't feel like that's the point, you know what I mean? Like it's supposed to be something special, something unique, something that can sit on your beauty cabinet if you're from King's Landing. So the shadow palette retails for 65 Zoolas. It has 20 eyeshadows total, and they're all names obviously inspired by the show. I'm just living, I really am. It's not that deep, but also it is very deep. Like it's icy and then there's coppers and then there's some purples and greens and reds and it just seems like the perfect like autumn palette. As for the rest of the PR box, the Mother of Dragons highlight palette. Why is this not on my press sheet? She looks good. And I really like all those little dragon eggs in there. That's really cute. And the packaging is sick. It just looks good, girl. Like Daenerys, you did that queen yes sis no one cares but i thought it'd be fun to start off with some swatches i don't normally do swatches because i think they're a, a scam. scam whoa that is dark that is take me black do you see that i'm glad that white walker isn't just white it's like a purple shifty blue color this is frozen north Ooh. Free Folk is a really pretty white silvery shimmer. Hard Home has some pink, it has some yellow, it's got some champagne. This is for maybe when you're feeling a little more zombie-like. Winterfell is a little bit more robust, more zesty, more reds, greens. Nymeria, which is all the way on the end, is gonna make a great transition crease color. Winter is here, a dark rusty brown. Werewood Leaves is kind of oily. It kind of has a little bit of moisture in there but it's that burgundy color that you see all the way at the end. The site is this dark green that you see all the way at the end, an emerald green. And Winterfell is the most moist in all this palette. It's got that wet touch. I really like this color. I wish we had more options of this formula because I don't see anything else on this palette that swatches like this. Okay, I ran out of room on my arm. So I'm gonna just give you the rest of the swatches. So these are the colors from the King's Landing and Bay of Dragons section. And to be honest with you, I can't decide which part of this palette I like more. I can give looks a amongst the entire section of every palette. So this is, yeah, this is where things start to heat up a little bit. Bend the Knee, fire, the texture's fire. Dothraki, fire, very creamy, very luxe. Guys, all of the colors are so pretty. I truly don't know what I'm gonna do! I've got a tough decision to make. Okay, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with Nymeria. Nymeria. Neiman Marcus, whichever it is. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed by now to the Jackie Ina family, your cable's gonna get cut off. Don't say I didn't warn you, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just letting you know. You got this damn far, you might as well subscribe. This is blending very smooth so far. That's a really soft color. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Lannister Red. I really like this color. Hopefully it doesn't clash with some of the iciness that we're about to create, but you know what? We won't know until we find out, okay? I'm gonna pop Mr. Lannister Red into the outer V of my crease. The brush that I'm using to blend this out is the Morphe M441. We wanted precise application. Then I'm gonna take take the black right on top of it and apply it in the same way. I just wanna deepen this color. Start off real easy because let me tell you something, black is definitely not an easy thing to conquer, especially if you don't use a lot. So start with a little bit and work your way up. Boop, tap my brush in once and then I started blending. Then we'll go back to Nymeria and start blending around that to soften. Jumping right into the site, which is this emerald green color here, I'm gonna apply wet I want a little bit more foily and that color is quite dry for my liking and I'm gonna pop that right in the center to be honest with you it's green so I know that greens can be tricky it's cool I'm not gonna sweat too much you just see the beautiful ball of shine that is the center of my eyelid 
I'm gonna take the color White Walker. I keep a baby Glock. I ain't fighting with no White Walker, period. You Lannis is weak. Is you serious? I let him be. Okay, we're gonna move on now. I'm gonna flip my brush. I basically wanna add some sparkle and shine. Wet it again. This is how I layer like my foily colors. And I'm gonna, oh my God, that's doing exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna pop that on top to create this funky blue frosty color. White Walker is the perfect like highlight color for the eyes. What are our thoughts? This is quite a unique color combo for me. I'm not mad at it. Let's play up on it a little bit more. Let's add a little bit of free folk. I'm gonna pop that silvery, very icy intensified color. We want our eyes to look like jewels. Gorgiana, that's pretty. Definitely can be sometimes limiting with these platinum blonde hairstyles or these icier hairstyles because the shadow game, like it clashes and it's just not, mm, 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 no, mm, mm. I like how there's the perfect mix of cool tones and warm tones in this palette. The colors are like actually usable. I'm taking a little bit in the myriad and just making sure that my crease is fully just drenched in this crease color, especially right below the head of my brow. That just really, to me, kind of elevates the shadow look. Girl, I'm confused with what the hell I'm gonna do with my bottom lash line. Let me see. Do I wanna add a pop of teal? Let's look at these liners. Maybe, maybe I'll get some inspo from the liners. Urban Decay makes some of my favorite liners. Their 24 seven glide on pencils are phenomenal and they have so many colors. This is Winterfell Snow. It's white and it reflects like that fun, fetty, purpley teal color. This next shade is Lannister Gold. That's nice. It's really pretty, but also very light. Ooh, ooh, teal. I also like how there's like a preview of the color and then the reflect also on the packaging. I'm gonna guess that this is blue with reflex red. Ooh. That's a pretty unique color. This one is Dragon Smoke. I'm gonna apply that liner along my bottom lash line. Ugh. We're gonna do the absolute unthinkable treasonous act of using icy colors and some fire colors. In this look, I kinda want a mixture of both. I'm gonna take Werewood Leaves, which is this shade here. I'm gonna blend Werewood Leaves along my bottom lash line, little by little at a time building it up, which of course you're probably not gonna see because of my freaking eyelashes, but it's cool. Just because Werewood Leaves is actually just because Werewood Leaves is actually pretty dark and I want a little bit more of that red to pop, I'm gonna go back and forth between Lannister Red and Werewood, like I'm using both of them. I don't know sis, I may need to change my whole outfit tonight cause this look is fire, fire, fire. You guys, who do you think is gonna take the Iron Throne? Like I'm genuinely curious because with the way that this show goes, no pun intended, but everybody can get the smoke. This is one of those times where I have no idea who's going to win. Using the Night King liner on my top lash line, I'm just going to pop that on to get a nice, thicky, thick pop of liner. I've used so many colors with this entire palette. Jackie Anna uses every single color in every single eyeshadow palette challenge, which I think would look really pretty. Popped on top of the liner, just gonna apply it right at our lash line and only our lash line. That's just for a fun little pop. I'm throwing some mascara while my lash is dry. What if instead of Game of Thrones, we had a TV show called Game of Gurus? <laughs> I'd watch it. Let's take Bay of Dragons. She's pink, oh, excuse, excuse me lighting. Thank you. Bay of Dragons, she's frosty, she's pink. Let's throw her in the inner corner. Throw on a little mascara. I really liked that brow gel, that color. Did you see how it lightened and softened my brows? I'm gonna throw on a little bit more. Yes, I changed my wig because it was more appropriate for what I'm wearing later. Then I put on a matte soft pink blush because I wanted something cool to go with the iciness going on from here up. Naturally because the blush is pink and the rest of the eyes are pretty cool. I'm gonna go with Drogon. Drogon, I don't know. I'm gonna go with the pink highlighter in the Highlighting Trio palette. Okay, that's good, that's good. That Very good. That'll work, yeah. Ooh. That's really pretty. I'm just gonna put some right on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna let some of my Hangover RX spray just lightly graze over this beat. So there's also a lip and cheek stain in this collection and 
That's interesting. Probably not the most appropriate for this look. So I'm not gonna test that out. There's four lipsticks in this collection. And to be honest with you, I think that Urban Decay is much better at glosses than they are lipsticks, but I don't dislike their lipsticks. I don't know, there's just something about the colors I never gravitated towards. We got a Sansa Stark, which is a peachy nude. I think she's a bit, oh, it's like a bomb. Cersei Lannister is a metalized, ooh, that's really pretty. White Walker, which is labeled as a comfort matte. Ooh. And then the last one we have is a fiery red orange. It's called Daenerys Targaryen. It is again, that metalized, super creamy. Yeah, smell something. That looks like a candy apple red. Based on what I'm wearing, can I go for a pop? Or should I play it safe and stay with Cersei and then jump right into Miss Cersei. Don't know if I like this with that. On its own, yes. On its own, this is fire. That's bomb. Okay, I added a little more of a darker liner. It's not usually something that I would do with an icy blue look, but you know what, I'll keep it. I'm just gonna lighten up the lip with a little gloss. This one is from Pat and it's faux real. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a situation right now. I really did not expect to like this collection as much as I actually do. It's low-key fire. <sighs> like fire breathing dragon fire, my guy. Like it's that, it's, 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 it's got some bangers. I mean, my favorite of course was the shadow palette. I will just reiterate, even though it's not functional, it's not something that I can travel with. I don't expect that from like a collection that's inspired by a TV show or inspired by a movie or a cartoon, I think. The point is to a collection that's as authentic to that as possible. And that means you're gonna sacrifice function for grandiosity of it all. I'm cool with that. It's just a palette that I won't travel with, but did it definitely get the job done? And were there enough shadows to do a full complete eye look? Absolutely. freaking lutely The only thing that I will say I was a little disappointed by about the shadow palette is when you really think about it, there's only two out of all of these colors, 20 mind you, there's only really two true matte shades. I mean, it's just going to be an all, it's basically an all shimmer shadow palette. Even though the matte black is matte and it has sparkles in it, it's not going to give you just a flat matte black that you're gonna need. Still fire, I'd still use it. I would just need to use it with other palettes. You know, like this is a great companion palette. The lipsticks were actually cute. Like I definitely could see myself using some of the colors. They were functional. I've noticed that Urban Decay always gives us like either a red or like a deep purple in all of their collections, no matter what they are. And I like that. And I feel like we almost always get a nude peach and we did with Ms. Sansa. I always feel like I can live without the highlighting palettes. I just have so many highlighters, but you know what? The colors were really good. I ended up later on going back in and adding this dark gold color because I wanted it to kind of complement the gold that's in my lips. They're really pretty, they're functional, and it's not like they aren't like multi-useful. They absolutely are. I just feel like the strongest part of this collection was the shadow palette. And second in line gotta be the liners. I love the glide on pencils. They're just so bomb. I love the fact that all of them have a shift to them. So they're all kind of this fun duochrome, like now you see it, now you don't. Would I recommend this collection? Hail to the air, two dragon fingers all the way up. Do dragons have fingers? I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Just go get it and watch the show. Stop trying to be a rebel, no one cares. Yes, you are the only person who's never watched Game of Thrones. We don't care, but you are the only one. We don't care. Shout out to Urban Decay for sending me this collection. This was sent to me for PR slash consideration. Why don't you just go ahead and watch another video? Don't want any nip slips, excuse me. But the next video is gonna be right here. Let's be real, you're not going anywhere. You just got fired from your job. Your daughter don't gotta be picked up from daycare for another what? 30 minutes, you got time for another video. You got time, go ahead, I'll wait. I'll wait. So what?